My original idea was that if I put all the storyboards up on the wall in my bedroom, I'd be able to ha have an idea that uh, sort of as I'm slipping into my trousers, I could uh, say, oh yes, well, uh, Jack could be going this way, or Jack could be eating that tidbit there. And I do occasionally sort of scribble on the wall, just to, if I have a new idea, or swap things round. But I think really, the reason why it's on the wall is because I'm completely obsessed with this film. And uh, it's, it's with me day and night. <laughs> I can't get rid of it. <laughs> Nick the cameraman. Hi, Nick. I'm, I've got to film all the time he's told me. He, I've got to film all the time because <laughs> this is quite a monumentous event. I've never met a, a K9 film star before, so I'm a little bit nervous actually. Oh, I'm is, sure she'll be is fine. He a, is he in a good mood? She's always in a She's good a, mood. She's a she? She is. Oh, right. But she looks like a boy. Yeah. Everybody thinks it's a boy. Oh, right. And she's certainly no lady. Hello! Oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> straight for the, straight for the, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Good tail. Yeah, really good, really good face. Well, face if you like waggy tails, you've, uh, you've got one here. She never stops. Can we the lane? Yeah, why not? Come. Stay. The thing about Tony Booth, he is a bit sinewy. <laughs> that that matches the fact, because the face and the, this, <laughs> it's wonderful, isn't it? Fetch! Touch. Touch. Core, crack and core. Don't eat it, just touch it. Touch. Core. Almost. Rubbish. It's easy to core. <laughs> That's what I do. Train and handle the dogs on the film. The main character dog is actually my dog, and the others I'm supplying with, with handlers. That's what I've been doing for the last 30 years. The most difficult thing, I think, is, is to get them to relate to a person, to, a, to an actor or an actress who, who doesn't particularly like dogs because that's, that's when it's difficult, when you've got to try and make a relationship look real. Getting the dogs to actually perform and do, do something is, is not difficult. You can't pin down exactly how any shot is going to go until you've actually got the dogs there on the day. There's always outside influences that can cause problems, and those you can't account for until the time. But I really haven't got any worries about this. As long as all the dogs get on and all the people get on, we'll be fine. <laughs> Just 
the beach, just getting them used to each other, getting them used to standing still, and we're right now ready to go. The first shot is with all the dogs on the beach. They're supposedly playing, but they have to have an internal reason themselves to play, and yet we're very far out of shot. The camera is really only seeing the action frame, so uh, as long as it's, uh, the eye lines work and everything, it works well to camera. And that's all we're concerned with. <laughs> If, if you've chosen your animal correctly in terms of temperament and suitability for what you're trying to achieve on film, well, that's 95% of the job. And it, it's down to, it's like saying, are French people uh, easier to work with than Italian people? Well, maybe, maybe not. It's very individual on the, on the particular individual dog or person. I like the commie's face, so we can get um, clothes of Pomeranian looking at us. This is Clover, who is one of the wild bunch. She runs with the wild girls and she also has liaisons with at least two boy dogs. She came from Battersea Dogs Home. Her owner works for Battersea Dogs Home. She checks the hounds out before the dogs go to, go to their new homes. And Cracker, who is playing the main part of Jack, she came from Battersea Dogs Home. Cassie's very experienced. Um, she, she was in the West End for six months working on Annie. Cracker was up for the role, but the dog is supposed to be very miserable in Annie, and Cracker does not stop wagging the tail. So she, she blew, the, blew the audition. <laughs> That'll do nicely. Farewell, cruel world! I'm a bit worried about the way Cracker is wagging her tail all the time. She seems like a very happy dog for a dog that wants to commit suicide. We put, just put in a very loose elastic band just to try and keep it down, but she wags so hard it comes off. Oh no, she's not embarrassed by wearing that or anything, no. She's an experienced dog, so she knows that what I do to her isn't going to hurt her and that it's all a game and uh, she'll get a reward at the end of it, so she's up for anything, basically. <laughs> but um, I think if they slip over and things, they do, they do I think, feel embarrassed and, and get up and pretend they haven't done it really, like we all do. <laughs> Thank you. 
I like, no, I like that. I really like it. It just don't change a thing. Really don't change a thing. Rocky, this is Rocky. This is Rocky. Goes to quite a few shows, champ shows. He's had first this year. He was in Crofts two years on the trot. He's had a first. This year we won't talk about. No. We? <laughs> we got slung out this year. Last year and the year before we had two firsts. Got you going first. Yes. We don't know why. <laughs> I spent nearly all day yesterday on him, bathing him. Takes nearly an hour to bath him. Then you've got a good 45 hours. minutes clipping alone and a good two and a half hours drying. And then, because he had a show a fortnight ago, it only took me just over the hour to scissor him. Right. He likes you to fuss him. Okay. He does like your attention. You're yeah. Uh, it's his favourite position is standing up. <laughs> is it yours? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> these, these must be the dogs then. in her bit does obedience work. She's working at one of the highest levels that a Staffordshire Bull Terrier has worked at since 1976. Right, peg it, and we're off. Au revoir, maman. Wait for me. Ignore the stick. Wait for me, chat. Ed, Ed is a basset hound, they're not particularly uh, keen to please you, but he did his best and he has got very short legs, so he, he ran as fast as he could to keep up with all those long-legged ones. Ed is now going to do his pipe smoking. Uh, we're not lighting it, of course, but he will be sitting there with his pipe in his mouth as if he's pinched it. <laughs> what life's all about, isn't it, Ed? Getting a sausage at the end of it. Oh, don't cry. <laughs> Hello, madam. I, I say, I, look, hello, what's this? I've fallen in with a bit of a bad crowd. Do you know the way to the park? I can get into this. Where do you see the talent on the beach? This is a superior shag. And pull it out.
dogs in today. All the boy dogs, all the girl dogs meeting up on the beach for a big sort of gang meeting. So we've got the Hungarian Vizsla and uh, I think we've also got a disabled dog so that we're all politically correct. Floral cells are the cells that give us a sense of smell. So if you have a cold or flu, you know you get smell back fairly quickly. These cells regenerate very quickly and will grow across a gap. Right up with fire between her eyes, she had a scar. That's where they took the cells from. And then they implanted them into her spine. She had a scar about 10 inches long. We use a heat massager on her. Exercises like bicycle movement. Um, Barry's also read uh, about three books now on dog massage and um, he touches special points in her, in her hat, on her body. She goes hydrotherapy every week, she goes swimming, and we're getting excellent results. And, I mean, the legs were totally dead. And since the operation, she shakes now after she's peed, and it's just, it's, it's a long process, but we're getting there. Our dog's getting ready for the money shot. Um, this, this, this dog here will be uh, shagging a Pomeranian, uh, Maple String Fellow. And we have, we've, got, we've got a couple of dogs, um, sort of dog ar leg armatures made up, so that if we can't get the dogs you know, in the compromising position for the close-ups, we've got like little pretend legs to, to stick over, over the top. So that the Pomeranian will be a bit like this. <laughs> And then we'll have the Vizsla's legs over the side and her big doe eyes going a bit like that. And then we'll have the barrel chested Vizsla giving it some a bit like that on the underneath. That's, that's the plan. Oh yeah, get out of here! Can't you see we're busy? Oh yeah. Yes, come Ned, give us some oh, privacy. Oh, 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 I do. You thought oh, what? Oh, 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 oh yeah, you got some balls coming here. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Who's your daddy?
close set. Close set. <laughs> Come on, Carla. Get it. Get it, Cracker. Lovely. Yeah, it's get a pair of. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Stay over. So let's go. We're rolling. Stay. Stay. And another one up. Look. 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 Stay. Up on that. Can we get Stay. a look? Look, yeah, look, yeah, look, yeah. Stay. Yeah. <laughs> you don't waste your time, do you? I don't even know your name. I'm uh, Tina. Nice to meet you, Tina. Wow. Okay, I I'm really under. Why did my parents have to? Of all the days my parents could come and watch, they can watch doing this. Your parents here? Well, they are. They're sitting, they've got deck chairs. So <laughs> what? <laughs> How does he know what to do? How does he know?